Hi folks, Jeremy here again at Compass Aquaculture. Welcome back to our virtual farm series on the Prairie Oyster Farm. Um, we're following up from last week. Last week we showed you how to use the line graph to keep track of your flip on flip schedule. And you can see here the three lines that are grayed out are the ones that we flipped last week. So that was on January 28th. And we're just gonna go ahead and take a look at the needs on flip view and you can see it's the complete opposite so the lines that we flipped last week when we hop to this needs on flip view you can clearly see that we need to on flip these lines so one way that we can easily do this is if we go to our oyster line grid view and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put my needs on flip column and I'm going to filter down to only see the ones that are true. As we expected, the uh, three lines that we saw on the line graph appear here. And I'm just going to go ahead and perform a task on them. And I'm going to select the three that's visible here. And I'm going to go ahead and say unflip. And I'm going to start a bulk on these. Last week we did this from the client application or the one you would take out on the boat with you. This week we're just showing you how you can do this from the comfort of your laptop or desktop. So we're going to submit this. We're going to say that we did it at this point in time and we're going to finish the process. So we just went ahead and we on flipped all three of these lines. So now you can see when we head back to the main line graph on the on flip view, you can see that we, uh, we don't need to unflip any of them. And when we hop back to the needs flip view, these three are still grayed out because the time hasn't elapsed on there until our next scheduled flip. And to show you the details on that, if you hop in here, you can see that that's being driven off of our flip interval. We're saying that we want to flip every 28 days and on flip after two days. So we messed up here. We waited since the 28th to do our on flip, so we were over time on that, but these lines are not going to change to needing flip status again until 28 days from now. Thanks for tuning in this week. Hopefully, in combination with the previous video, it's clear how you can drive your flipping and unflipping schedule through the application. If you call it air drying or any other name that you want to call the same process, the system can be customized to accommodate that. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them on the video. And tune in again next week for our next video on the Virtual Farm Series.